We all know a weak person is easily influenced by others' ideas and opinions, but not necessarily by their own. The confidence that comes from knowing you deserve something motivates you to perform the acts and prove your worth, and you exhibit traits that agree with this fact. Conversely, though, if you've got a weak mind, you'll undoubtedly exhibit certain traits that are typical of people with weak thinking. If you want to know what these signs are, well, this video is for you. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Number one, too trusting. It's easy to always look on the bright side of things and give other people the benefit of the doubt. However, trusting strangers and even sometimes friends and family too much could be dangerous. Trust should be earned rather than given out freely. When someone is very trusting, they're easily swayed, coaxed into dubious pursuits or bullied into doing something they don't want to do. They rarely think on their own and are willing to follow the advice of other people that are not qualified to give that advice. Number two, self-centered. Chances are you know somebody that makes every situation about themselves. While people that display this trait often believe themselves to be strong, they're in fact rather weak. Individuals that exhibit this trait focus way too much on themselves, and the cost they pay is their relationships with others. They always try to exhibit dominance over others by means of control and competition. Number three, Blame shifting. Do you often find somebody else to blame for your problems? Do you ever admit when you're wrong or take responsibility for fixing it? One of the most glaring indicators of weakness is the tendency to place blame on others for one's own problems. A person with a solid mental makeup cares about doing something useful and discovering the truth. Instead of focusing on assigning blame, they look for ways to improve the problem at hand. If you ever meet somebody that looks to blame others before considering possible solutions to a problem, know that you are dealing with a weak person. Number four condescending and close-minded. Weak people tend to repeat the same familiar patterns of thought and action. They lack openness to new ideas, they don't have consideration for others, and they often jump at familiar things without checking other options. In some cases, they make it so obvious by being shallow and unable to adapt to whatever situation they find themselves in. They believe that they're doing people a favor just by being themselves. Number five. A lack of self-control. Losing your temper sometimes is unavoidable, but showing a lack of self-control is a sign of weakness. Allowing yourself to be easily provoked into an angry outburst by people or situations indicates emotional weakness and a lack of self-control. Weak people have outbursts frequently and for the smallest of things, and as a result, they do things without thoroughly considering the effects of their actions. Unlike their uncontrolled emotions, being able to express your feelings without losing your cool or resorting to violence is a sure sign of strength. Number six, inexplicable lack of interest or drive. Weak people often display the I don't care attitude, and underachievement is a characteristic that some of them are ready to embrace. This lack of motivation is proof the individual in question lacks the resolve to make an effort or to take charge of their own life. The underachievement that comes with it is the outcome of avoiding responsibility, delivering poor work at school or on the job, and showing contempt for deadlines. Number seven always looking for validation from others. As long as you don't make it a habit, it's all right to seek validation, especially from someone with more experience on an issue. Getting praise and acknowledgement for one's work is something that almost everyone wants, and in fact, motivates us to do our best. But seeking external validation for the slightest of thing or for everything is a whole other story. Does it really matter if others look down on you? How you feel about yourself both now and in the future is what matters most. If someone puts the opinions of others above the opinions of themselves, well, that's a sign of weakness. Number eight, can't stick to a plan. There are many things that people strive for in life, from personal to professional goals to a higher purpose for being there. And it takes a kind of strength to do things according to a grand plan without jumping from project to project. 
Weak people allow their biases to overcome them, and they can stop doing something just because they suddenly feel they should. They often just haven't thought about what they want to do yet. Number 9. Choosing Convenience Over Doing the Right Thing Weak people are more inclined to give in to the pressure of their peers and act along with the herd, although knowing that doing so could be counterproductive. They like to choose the easiest possible options, which is usually what the majority does. A weak person will miss out on grand opportunities simply because they don't want to act out of line with people that might not even be as knowledgeable as they are. Number 10. They don't have a growth mindset. Have you ever encountered someone who is content with their current status quo and showed little interest in developing themselves further? Well, a weak person usually has a fixed worldview. They refuse to consider other perspectives and are certain that they will always act the same way. They're usually of the opinion that they can't improve through hard work, and they're the kind of people who are comfortable with working the same obscure job and position throughout their entire life. You might be wondering whether or not having a growth mindset really has anything to do with weakness. Taking responsibility for your own growth and acknowledging that you're less than you would want to be are both hallmarks of a strong mind, and that's why most weak people don't fare too well in this area. Number 11. They play the blame game and indulge in self-pity. They might be rightfully victims due to their past. They may very well be victimized due to their past, their current situation, and the opportunities they passed up. But having a victim mentality and actually being a victim are two different things. If you identify yourself only in terms of your status as a victim and think there's nothing you can do to change it, you've got a victim mindset. Anyone who constantly wallows in their own misery is a weak person. Most of us have every reason to feel resentful, misled, and victimized at some point in our lives. Pretty much no one would dispute that. However, holding on to resentment puts you into a negative frame of mind. It keeps the stress hormones in your body high and in the long term can lead to all kinds of random medical problems. Number 12. Can't handle any kind of criticism, let alone helpful feedback. Weak people are easily hurt by constructive feedback. They become defensive when offered constructive criticism or suggestions meant to help them better their work because they feel everyone wants to mock them. Sometimes they acknowledge the feedback but will be too busy protecting their pride than trying to implement any solutions. Number 13. Holding grudges and refusing to forgive. Many of us might rightfully feel bitter, used, and tricked, and we have a good reason to sometimes. However, holding onto a grudge against another person will do nothing except limit your abilities and dampen your hopes and dreams. Weak people like playing the victim, like we said earlier, so it shouldn't be a surprise when they refuse to forgive those who wrong them. Now, there is a difference between grudges and boundaries. If someone you know is talking about a years-old grudge, chances are they might be a weak person. Number 14. No guts to say no. There are times you'll have to say no to opportunities, no matter how appealing they might seem, in order to pursue something that is more essential to you. Whenever you make a promise, you should act in a way that shows you mean it. Weak people can't say no. They will begrudgingly fulfill someone's request at their own expense because they don't know how to turn the person down without looking or feeling like a bad person. Number 15. Living in the Past Weak people tend to complain that the best moment for accomplishment has already been missed, that times were better before and the grass was greener. They constantly point to their past achievements and in a psychological sense, practically live there, which is the first obstacle to moving forward. These people are quick to tell stories of their achievements, and when you look deeply, you'll see they have nothing else going on for them. Now, Alex, so the vast differences in people's personalities have a major impact on shaping their behaviors, priorities, relationships, and aspirations. There are many various sorts of people in the world, and it can be hard to tell what certain traits mean contextually. But weak people often behave in a common pattern despite their differences. Please tell us in the comments which of these traits is the most obvious sign of weakness. We'd love to hear what you think. Now, we've talked about the most obvious traits of a weak person, but how about a strong person? 
Well, true strength is not an attribute, but rather a mental attitude and how one fares in the face of adversity. A weak person can be a successful entrepreneur and even climb the corporate ladder, but in the end, they display these traits. No one's got a cheat code for living a great life, but there are many things you can do to put yourself in that position. We've always emphasized how important one's mindset is above every other thing. So we made a video called 10 Philosophies for a Better Life that shows you how to put your mind in the right space. Thank you for watching this video, Aluxer. If you found it valuable, consider subscribing to our channel and joining our awesome community. And if you're still hungry for more, we handpicked this video for you to watch next or head over to our website for more amazing content. See you tomorrow.